Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a new art journal page. Today I will be working on my custom made disc bound journal. This is Distress Mixed Media Paper by Ranger and uh, the size is 6x6. As usual I'm going to create my background first so I will be using my stamping platform. I have applied some repositionable tape on the base of my stamping platform and then at the top I'm going to add this rubber stamp which is full of Christmas sayings and um, it is a stamp by my favorite things and I believe it is called Christmas background. So I have prepared my page with my anti-static pouch and now I'm going to apply some Versa marking and stamp on top of my page. I'm not going to repeat the process one more time since this is the background and I really like it if I see some imperfections here and there. Now you will get similar results if you apply clear embossing powder on top of the stamped image or if you go with white like I did here. So I'm going to apply my white embossing powder and then heat set it and uh, the result is not visible at the moment but I will do some inking later on so the whole image is going to be revealed. Now I'm going to use this rubber stamp which is by Darkroom Door, it is called Glass Dome and uh, with those stamps you can uh, use your scissors and chop off all the excess rubber that is around the image. This is going to ensure that you won't grab some ink on the edges of uh, your rubber stamp and I always like to do that just to clean them off. So once it is ready I'm going to peel off the backing and this is going to clink nicely at the door of my stamping platform. Now I'm going to do the stamping with uh, Jet Black Archival Ink and this is going to stamp directly on top of my page and on the embossed image which is there but you can't see it at the moment. And I love the versatility of this glass dome, you can add inside so many different uh, images like uh, flowers for example, but today I'm going for a winter wonderland so I'm going to create a little scene inside. Now you can stamp anything you like on top and it's going to look as if it is inside the dome but I'm going to take it a step further here and uh, I'm going to create a window out of this so my page is going to be quite um, bulky at the end but it's going to look gorgeous at least in my opinion so I'm using my scissors and I'm going to remove the whole glass part and here is my finished uh, background so I'm going to start doing the inking now and by inking I am going to help all that embossed image at the background to be revealed. For that I'm using Distress Oxide inks <clears throat> and since I'm working on uh, Distress Mixed Media Paper it is really easy to blend it out. It goes like butter and you can see that although I get all those uh, blotches here when I go over it with uh, the blending tool it's going to remove them. So I'm using three colors here, the lighter is tumbled glass, I go to broken china and I will finish it off with my darker shade which is faded jeans. And I always like to add the darker shade at the edges since I feel like it is framing nicely my project. Now I'm going to use some craft colored cardstock and I'm going to stamp the bottom of my glass dome. For that I'm using archival ink in coffee color. I'm doing it a couple of times just to get a good impression. And then I'm going to use my scissors and cut it out. This way I will be able to do some paper piecing so that I can stick it later on with white glue on top of my project. This is going to give the look and feel of a wooden base and I didn't have to do any other techniques on that since with the stamping I do get all those little details on the stamped wooden base. Now I'm going to work at the back and I'm going to add some tape adhesive all around the window and then I can stick on top some acetate. This is going to give a lovely shiny front which is going to look as if I have glass actually there. Now today I'm going to play with a shaker page here. I do shaker cards all the time but never did a shaker page so let's try it out and see how it goes. But of course if you are a card maker this can easily be a card. Now I'm going to need some backing for the back of my glass dome here and of course I'm going to use the same colors as I did for the rest of the background so that everything matches nicely. 
Now for the inside of my glass dome I'm going to use dies from this Isix die set which is called Winter Wonderland. I have already cut out a couple of deer out of the same craft cardstock as I used for the base of my glass dome. And I'm also going to use this die which is from the same set and it uh, actually cuts out snow. And here I just use it to create my own stencil so that I can add some uh, texture paste all over it. Of course you can use this stencil directly on your, your project which is going to add lots of little holes which are going to look like snow. I used my scissors to cut out this little piece of paper. This is actually white glitter paper which I'm going to stick at the back of my glass dome and it's going to look like a snow bank. And I'm sticking it down by using uh, double sided tape. And out of the same glitter cardstock I have cut out this uh, little uh, uh, village. This is a die by Sizzix and it's called uh, Landscape Border. But I am going to link you down below more options for such dies since I think this is not available in the US. I believe this is only available through Sizzix UK. And notice that for the first snow bank I made sure that it is flush with the glass dome but with this one I used tape adhesive to stick it on my background. So I am trying to create different layers inside my dome here. And I'm going to place the deer down. One of them again is uh, flush with the um, village and the other one is uh, flush with the window. Now I need to add some foam tape all around the back of my dome which I did here and I'm going to add my snow for that I am using a product which is called uh, diamond dust I've had this for years it looks like sugar it's also shiny and makes the perfect snow for uh, projects like this now peeling off the backing and I'm going to apply the main background directly on top and I don't care if something sticks out I can always use my scissors and uh, cut off the excess. Now at the back it's not going to look nice but uh, I'm going to show you at the end how you can cover it up if that bothers you. Now it's time to add my quote and I'm also going to combine them with some uh, design tape. The design tape I'm using is from a pack by Tim Holtz and it's really sparkly and shiny. It's silver by the way and I think silver matches perfectly the colors, the blue colors and the whites that I have on my page. And I'm going to ask a quote to use some of the stickers that I have here. These are from the Holiday Talk uh, sticker pack by Tim Holtz and they are actually metallic silver on white and it's going to give a lovely shine as well. Now these don't stick nicely on top of my design tape so I'm just using some white glue at the back to make sure that they are going to stay put. And I'm actually going to use three of those stickers. One of them says Winter Wonderland, the other says Let It Snow and finally one that says Frosty. Now I have also cut out a little snowflake using a die that I had in my stash out of the white glitter cardstock and finished it up with a little bow. Now my shaker page is ready, let's look at the back and see what we can do about it. And I think that the easiest way to go is to just stick one more page at the back, which is going to cover it up completely. Now of course I have some bulky area at the center due to the window, so I have added some uh, tape adhesive on one side and I'm also going to add glue just in between those uh, holes. And I'm going to make sure that um, the two pages are flush where the holes are. And on the other side I can still have a little bit of an opening. So here is the finished look. And you can see that it's not that bulky. So it is really easy to put it back on my disc bound journal. And call it done. And again remember that uh, you can easily turn this idea into a lovely winter card. Here are some close-up photos on today's project. I hope that you had fun and you got inspired. Don't forget that there is a full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for coming today and I'll see you all next time.